Hey guys, this is App Reviewer, and today I'm back with some more Galaxy Note 2 case coverage. You can see in front of me we got some SGP products. The first one is the Ultra Crystal Screen Protector. I know a lot of you have already taken a look at it. I've probably done maybe three or four reviews of different phones, but I still want to quickly bring this out to you just so you can see how it looks and fits on the Note. And then the main part of the review will be the Valentinus case, which is a folio style case, which retails for 55 bucks. So it's definitely an expensive case, but it does have some very high quality build and also feels incredible in the hand. So let's take a look at that now. You can see here we have the case itself. It's some pretty cool packaging. Let's open this up. You have the case, and that is all you get, which is a bit disappointing at 55 bucks. I wish they would include a screen protector, but you can see Valentinus for Galaxy Note 2 leather wallet case, and you have a little bit of an information where you can apply cards to it. So let's open this up. You can see it does have a button snap on it. It's very secure, and you have some Valentinus branding. If we open it up, you can see just some foam that you get within it. And there are a couple things on here that make it a cool case to use with your Galaxy Note. First of all is the fact that you got some card storage. So I got a few cards lying around here which we're just going to quickly throw in there so you can see just how they look. So you have four slots on the left hand side and you got a couple of slots here that you can use to throw some money in there or maybe some larger cards, whatever it may be. So you can see just kind of how it'll look. You got your phone part right here which is actually very similar to the rear Thrinky Slim Light as you can tell. It just has a larger cutout same sticker sort of thing and then it's a little bit thicker on it so just that's mainly the only difference so this is basically a rear Thrinky slim light with leather applied to it so let's pop the phone on and I'll show you exactly how it fits very simple to do start off through the volume rocker side and then just snap it in place and you get a nice very secure fit so this is not going anywhere as you can see so closing it up all you gotta do is put that button in there and it fits very nice and snug so this screen is completely protected on the front the bottom is protected as well because the actual leather comes outwards right hand side is completely protected with plastic and leather and then the top is a little bit exposed but no real problems with it you can see on the back you got your cutout for your camera and flash it is a little bit recessed so you don't have to worry about that if you were to drop your phone that's pretty much it for the back other than this minor cutout for the speaker grill and also your S Pen which is a little bit hard to get to as you can see it is very recessed in there so you gotta kinda pick at it with a smaller finger and pull it out so no real problems with it you can also see you got some speak and branding and this is actually real leather as I mentioned so it smells fantastic it actually has a little bit of a grip on it so it will not really fall out of your hands if we open it up you can see now you get access to the phone itself so it is a little bit cumbersome to use it just because if you want to use it one handed you gotta set this back and it's just way too hard to use with one hand it's basically a two handed case where you gotta hold it with one and then just swipe with the other for the most part the screen is exposed you can see there's a slight lip on here but it won't really protect it however when it is closed you do have that full protection on there and the leather is actually a little bit cushiony so it will absorb most of the shock you can see if we close this up, you still have access to your ports up top. You can still listen to music. You got your headphone exposed. At the bottom, you can still charge it. And as I mentioned, you got access to that S Pen. If we do open it up, however, you do have access to your volume rocker, which is not available when this is closed, which is a little bit of a bummer if you want to listen to music and you want to just change the volume, you got to open it up. But as I mentioned, the power button is exposed. So. This case is pretty cool. I don't really think it's worth 55 bucks. It does offer a lot of cool functionality. The thing that it's missing, however, is a stand function. So in some of these cases, what you do is you flip this back and then you just put the button in and you would get some sort of stand. But on this one, you really don't unless you consider something like that, you know, but it still flops around too much. So there's no real stand feature on it, which is a bummer at the price point. But for someone that's a business professional and wants something that looks incredible, feels really good, and is well made, this is probably a good option to go to as long as the price doesn't put you down. As I mentioned in my rear Thrinky Slim Light review, however, this is a more affordable option. This is probably what most people are going to go to, an $11 option that pretty much gets the job done. So now let's take a look at the screen protector really quickly just to give you an idea of how it looks and fits on the phone. So now that we've taken a look at a couple cases for the Galaxy Note 2, I want to run by one of the most popular screen protectors on the market, and that's the Ultra Crystal for the Galaxy Note 2 in this case. So you can see pretty standard SGP packaging. You do get two screen protectors in here, and it does retail for $15.99. So the Crystal is $15.99, Oleophobic is same price, and the Optics and Fine Models are $2 more, so $17.99. They do have the same form factor on them, so the only thing that changes is the actual coating on it. In the packaging, you'll get the second screen protector, a little authentication number, these little stickers to help remove dust, a squeegee, and also a microfiber. So pretty simple stuff. 
you can see we got the screen protector installed and let's zoom in here just to take a look at the overall installation so let's see if that will focus in you can see most importantly is the fact that it is cut short on the screen so it doesn't completely cover the full display which I'm not sure if that's SGP's decision or because there's a little bit of a curvature on the side I'm not sure but it feels like it's flat for the most part you can see up here it goes around the speaker grill through the light sensors and then cuts around the front facing camera you can see it does leave a little bit of the glass exposed more than I'd like it to you can see it works its way down here leaving some of the side exposed and then it comes up and around the home button so it does cover I'd say maybe 95% of the screen or a little bit more than that but it's just a little bit disappointing to see it doesn't cover the full screen and I know SGP can do it because they did it on the Galaxy S3 screen with the curved crystal one so for the most part you will get some really good colors out of it the feel is just like the naked screen nice and smooth so it does give you the same clarity same visuals same color reproduction but it's just disappointing that you do have a little bit of glass exposed on the sides and on the bottom. So for the most part, 15 bucks, you can't go wrong with it. It's a very reliable screen protector. It gets the job done, but it will show fingerprints. As you can see, if you just smudge it around, you will get a little bit of fingerprinting on the sides around there. So the two major cons are the fact that it's cut short and it does have a little bit of fingerprinting. But the most important thing is you'll protect your screen from scratches and you will have the same exact color production and clarity. So it is a pretty good screen protector overall. Now... For those of you that were watching my previous reviews of the Galaxy S3, the Nexus 7, blah blah, I will have a big giveaway coming up just to prepare for the Nexus 4 at least, which I'll be picking up in a few days. So, thanks a lot for watching guys, and thanks for more. Cheers guys.